health care reform. Are we forming our views based on facts or fiction? Monica, a new poll reveals that the effort to misinform the public is having a serious impact on the debate. Get this, asked if they think the government should stay out of Medicare. 39% said yes, 46% said no, 15% weren't sure. Medicare, as many of you already know, is already a single-payer government-run program, something 39% of our fellow citizens don't appear to realize. Then there's our NBC News poll, which found people think health care reform will result in the following. 55% say it will provide coverage for illegal immigrants. It will not. 54% say it means a government takeover. It does not. 50% think it will result in taxpayer-funded abortions. There's nothing in the bills for taxpayer-funded abortions. And 45% still believe that there is some provision in these bills that would have the government deciding whether grandma gets the plug pulled, the government death panel. During his radio interview today, a caller asked the president about health care reform covering illegal immigrants. This has been an example of just pure misinformation out there. None of the bills that have been voted on in Congress and none of the proposals coming out of the White House propose giving coverage to illegal immigrants. None of them. That has never been on the table. Nobody has discussed it. Here to make their case on who is responsible for the health care misinformation are Sam Jacobs, political reporter of TheDailyBeast.com, and Brian Fountain, contributor to RedState.com. Brian, who's responsible for the misinformation? Look, I'd say there's misinformation on both sides. And first, with respect to that poll that you just cited, I think one thing to realize is that you're asking the American people what they think will happen, not what's in the bills right now. But beyond that, like I said, I think both sides are at fault here. You know, we have the president going around saying he's never endorsed single-payer health care when he did but in Brian, 2003. Brian, you would agree that not all news organizations, conservative, progressive, middle of the road, are even. I mean, here's the NBC poll, and they poll, they separated out Fox News viewers from MSNBC, CNN viewers. Health care for illegal immigrants, 72% of Fox viewers believe it'll be there, only 41% for the rest of us. Will it lead to a government takeover? 79%. Tax dollars for abortion, 69%. Does the bill include decisions, government decisions about elderly care? 75% of Fox viewers believe it does. You know there's nothing like that in the bill. How come three out of four viewers of Fox do not know that? Well, David, I'm listening to the way you described the poll, and the poll said, will it lead to? Now, there are members of Congress who are promising Zolofkin among them that there will be abortion coverage in the health care bill. If you ask the American people what they think will happen, that's a different question. I mean, if you ask me whether I want the government involved in Medicare, I know governments that Medicare is a government program, but I sure wouldn't know how to answer the question. Well, um, uh, Sam, it's off to have a discussion when people are discussing what might happen, what will happen. Will we be billionaires tomorrow? We could be, but are we going to be billionaires? Real Reality is, is something a bit different. It's hard having that conversation when people think things that are when they're scared by the shadows, isn't it? Sure, David, and that's a good point. And, and Brian is right that perhaps these poll questions are confusing. But the reality is that the, you know many people on the right have decided to choose political calculation over political courage. It's not surprising that people like Rush Limbaugh are comparing, say, Obama to Hitler. Well, it is surprising, but it's not surprising to hear from people on the fringe like Rush. What is surprising is that few people in the Senate who are conservatives are willing to stand up for truth and stand up against the fringe when these lies are put out there. Speaking of lies, Michelle Bachman, Republican from Minnesota, says that the government involvement in health care is unconstitutional. Brian, do you agree with that? Uh, I hadn't heard the quote. I don't think I'd say that government involvement in health care is unconstitutional. But look, so we can agree of, she's wrong. Uh, if that's the, all that there is to the quote, I have to say I don't agree with that. <laughs> okay. um, but if you're, but you know, like I said, if you're talking about who's misleading, the president is misrepresenting his previous stances on single payer health care. The president is talking about a deficit. In How so? Bill. How is he misrepresenting? his previous stances. I've heard him say, I've heard him acknowledge, he said, that if he were starting from scratch, he would start with single payer. But given the current system, he believes that the public option is the way to go and to protect the private health insurance market. What in have two, you heard? In 2003, before the SEIU, in his speech, he said, I, for one, believe in a single payer health care system. Elsewhere, and he went on to elsewhere, say if he was starting the system from scratch. Uh, I, I don't believe he said that. But I would well, say that, apart from that, he has also said, as many liberals who support the health care plan have said, that he thinks that this eventually will lead over time to a single-payer health care system. Now, if people are confused, the president needs to go back and address his own commentary. Sam, you get the last word. 
you know, this is a complicated issue, uh, and I, I hope we can have our politicians speak a little bit more clearly, as the president did today, and uh, try to make sense of this. Right now, it seems like the American people are both confused and, unfortunately, being a bit fooled. Sam Jacobs and Brian Fountain, we appreciate you both uh, very much. And, um, you know, I, I would suggest, Monica, that if people are really concerned about a government takeover or government